Hello, welcome to another mini talk. This is day six of the NaNoWriMo excursion of 2023. For all you riders out there who are still grinding, you can do it. And if you're behind, you can still do it. I believe in y'all. Y'all are doing great. Keep at it. You got this. I'm with you. I'm doing it live at Ulysses GC uh, on Twitch. So follow me there. Uh, killing your darlings plus pacing. That's today's talk. Killing your darlings plus pacing. Uh, I want to go over a couple things regarding this mini talk. I'm going to talk about what it actually means to kill your darlings and why it's important for you to keep it in mind as a writer. Uh, we're going to talk about how it applies to characters and their arcs. We're going to talk about how it applies to pacing. And, and then we're going to close out and, uh, how killing your darlings is really a, a form of transformation. Um, I think I'm getting two concepts mixed up, but you know, F it, we ball. Uh, so what does it mean to kill your darlings? It, it, killing your darlings has a, a number of meanings. The, the primary thing is, is that whatever no matter how attached you are to certain ideas in your story, you should never be afraid to get rid of it if it doesn't contribute to your narrative. That is uh, the primary definition of uh, kill your darlings. It's no matter how attached you are to certain concepts or ideas, uh, you need to be ready to get rid of them if they don't work for your story. That is the other, that is one of the definitions and probably the most primary definition of the phrase Kill Your Darlings. I believe uh, it was coined by another our author. Uh, let me look that up right now. Uh, mean. Uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's been attributed to multiple people uh, for screenwriting. For screenwriting. But that is the primary definition. It's Especially when you're cutting and edit editing your argument, there are certain ideas that might be there in your p document piece. But uh, when it comes to the direct application of does it make your story better, you probably just have to get rid of it to have a more focused story. Uh, I like to kind of ride this off and combine another idea with kill your darlings which is uh you should also uh torture them as well now this is kind of getting to very uh sadistic uh language but bear with me here your characters those are, we're gonna move on to the second part your characters have arcs and your characters you love them because you've made them and they're and you've invested so much time in developing their, you know, their stories, their backgrounds, what they're good at, what they love, what makes them tick, what their weaknesses are. And this is all very good. And you might run into the problem that you become so attached to your characters that you suddenly just don't want to hurt them. Uh... <laughs> And this is a problem because here's the thing. When it comes to your storytelling, characters are made to hurt. They are made to suffer because the story and the plot demands of them that the status quo has to be broken to defeat the villain. And for the villain to be beaten, they need to change. And uh, I don't know if you've met people in real life, but uh, people find it very hard hard to change core concepts about themselves unless they're they are under extreme duress to do so in which they have to make a decision between changing or staying the same and losing out uh in you know young adult fantasy novels uh losing out generally means something equivocal to the end of the world the end of their people you know stuff like that which is very bad uh and with that, 
you can only achieve that change if you put your character through the ringer. I one of my favorite uh, book series is one of my favorite book series is series a, a good book series. I don't know how to say that. Uh, one of my uh, oh my god, I can't talk. A good book series I've been reading to help me with this is uh, The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Jim Butcher writes this wonderful urban fantasy novel that mixes kind of gritty detective work with uh, a really robust fantasy world and weaves that fantasy into the urban world very well. And something that I applaud him for is uh, his ability to beat the crap out of his main character. Uh, it really makes for a page turner because you think to yourself, man, how much can this guy really take? The main character being a wizard named Dresden. Um, he goes through a lot in all of his books. And Jim Butcher is also quoted as saying that when you write the story, uh, you need to make it so that the char main characters are having the worst day of their lives. And that is what the story is. That because of this particular series of events, they are going through it. And that is what makes for an interesting story. Much like the uh, tendency to look at a car accident while you're driving past it, we are attracted to drama. We are attracted to conflict. Conflict and drama usually involve suffering, which means you need to inflict it, especially on your protagonists. Uh, your protagonists are the vehicle in which you carry your story. Now, of course, you can't kill all your characters, but, uh, and it's the phrase, kill your darlings. You can't kill all of them. You have to kill some of them, uh, or at least the ones that don't contribute to the story or have finished contributing to the story. Uh, but you do need, you, you, kinda need to, you need to beat them up a little. And it makes for an interesting story because we feel invested in the hook of, will their suffering be worth it? If we beat them off enough and they are brought to the point where they can change or not change and they choose to change, will they win? And, you know, then you get your happy endings, your sad endings, your tragic endings where they fail, the good endings where they win, bittersweet where they uh, win, but it kind of sucks. Uh, so. In conclusion. Kill your darlings simply means. If it doesn't serve your story any longer, or it didn't serve your story in the first place, no matter how attached you are to it, get rid of it. But also, beat up your darlings that you do have. Make them hurt. Because then that brings about change for the characters. It gets the pages turning. And uh, you get your characters to that breaking point where they need to decide to change or not. And then the story writes itself from there. So thank you for coming to the mini talk. That's Kill Your Darlings plus uh, pacing it out of just beating them up over time, over time. And yeah, that was it. Boom. That came out a little bit more organized than I thought it would be.